Well, hi, and, and welcome everybody to another um, session in our Women Lead online forums brought to you by Connected Women of Influence. I'm Patty Vargas, and I'll be your host today. And today we have a subject matter expert in the hot seat who is willing to say, yeah, go ahead, just ask me anything. Maybe she even says, I dare you ask me anything. So, you know, be, be forewarned there. Um, our session today lasts between half an hour, 45 minutes, uh, you know, whatever it takes. If you've joined with video, you'll be able to see our guest and the attendees alike. Questions and comments are always welcome. And if you have something you'd like to ask or contribute anonymously, just put it in the chat to me and I would be happy to share it for you. So our topic today is become a super prospector using LinkedIn. And I'm so excited to introduce today's subject matter expert, Rhonda Schur. In this challenging environment, we, we really have to get creative about finding new clients, about finding new ways to connect, about making new business introductions and, and using our time smartly and strategically to prospect. So this is a really great time to bring Rhonda on and, and connect with her. So let me tell you just a little bit about her before I hand it off to her. Uh, for more than 10 years, Rhonda has been helping CEOs, speakers, coaches, entrepreneurs, business owners, uh, insurance, financial, real estate, mortgage, and sales professionals create greater visibility, credibility, and profitability on LinkedIn. Rhonda offers a variety of services and is also a successful coach and speaker on using LinkedIn more effectively. So with that, I'm handing it over to Rhonda to start sharing some of your, your best kept secrets with all of us. So um, you really can ask me just about anything I like to say when I give talks. You can ask me anything about my age or my weight because I probably <laughs> won't tell you that. Um, <laughs> Um, but, you know, one of the things that I realize is, you know, especially now that we're all sheltered in place in one way or another, and we are being forced to work virtually and work at home, for me, that's something that I've been doing for a long time. Um, thank goodness I have Cooper, my dog, to keep me company. Um, now I actually have my husband who's working at home because uh, he's got a, a business that's essential. Um, but, you know, here's the thing that I really want to share with all of you. Um, more often than not, you know, now we're going to be connecting with people, whether you're using Facebook. And here's an interesting statistic. 90% of the people on LinkedIn, 9-0, are on Facebook, okay? So if you're interacting with people on Facebook, there is a very high chance that they're going to go check you out on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. And what happens is that, you know, and, and I joke about this, but it's really very serious, is when people go and check you out on LinkedIn, you actually don't always show up as a professional you are. In fact, what I like to say is you're in witness protection. And what I mean by that is they can't really figure out, well, how do I reach you? And what exactly is it that you do? Um, you know, what people don't do on LinkedIn is they don't show up as the experts and the superstars you are. So it's very hard to figure out what your message is. You know, Facebook is a completely different platform where you can't really look and see very clearly, okay, this is what this person does. This is the problem they solve. This is who they do it for. This is how you reach them. Um, now, granted, you have Facebook Messenger, but in LinkedIn, you can message people, okay? And that's probably the most effective way to get to people. So it really is the platform, and you need to know it's where you are being checked out, so the question that most people don't ask themselves is, am I, is my profile written in a way that I'm attracting my ideal clients and not necessarily repelling, because I don't like that word, but detracting those people that I really don't want to be doing business with? And is my profile so clear that when somebody comes to it, they know who I am, they know what I do, they know the results that my clients get, maybe there's a sample of the type of clients that you work with, okay? And they know how to reach you. Because, and, and the other thing is, if you work hard to get somebody to your profile, do you know how to create your privacy settings so that if you got somebody to your profile, you're not sending them away? You know, these days, I bet you almost everybody is shopping online. 
Okay, Amazon has become my best friend. Forget Steinmart, it's now Amazon, ladies, right? And, um, and so I'll go to Amazon and I'll buy something. And before I leave, oh my gosh, Amazon said, well, you might like this, this, and this. So the $59 microphone that I went there to purchase now turned into $250 because they suggested everything else that I didn't really know I needed. Um, when you go to LinkedIn and you look at somebody's profile, so let's say I go and look at Patty's profile. Well, I know Patty has her settings set, set correctly because we've talked, but what if it said people also viewed? Well, now I'm going to go look at other people. You know, if you work really hard to get them there, you want to make sure that you keep them. So what I would recommend now, especially because we're all in the same boat, okay? We're all at home. In fact, my husband told me the funniest thing. He said that at Walmart and Target, tops, shirts are going out, are being sold like crazy because so many people are not used to working at home, right? So it's, you know, it's, it's like on the bottom, you have your pajama bottoms on, right? But everybody's looking at your top. And, and you guys all laugh, but it's true, right? And I get dressed every day because I'm always on Zoom. But today I thought, okay, well, I'm just going to be in my bright colors, right? You know, I want it because I want to bring some lightness and some bright to it. But, you know, what is that first impression that, you know, people are getting when they look at your profile, right? That's yeah. the big thing. People are working at home. So, you know, I guess what I'd like to do is just open it up um, for questions uh, on... Because here's the last thing that I'll leave you with, okay? Um, most people do not realize the power of LinkedIn. This, this month, uh, this past month of March, okay, was probably one of my better months. Now you would say, how is that possible? You know, nobody's leaving, nobody's spending money, right? And I consider myself very, very fortunate. And the reason that I had such a successful month is Here's what I did. And all of you who are experts can do the very same thing. I reached out to somebody who I knew had an audience of people that needed what I had. Okay. In this particular case, they were all divorce coaches. And I said, I'd like to put on a webinar for your divorce coaches. And I'd like to teach them what they need to do to generate business. And the woman who is my client, who runs the institute where these coaches are trained, said, that would be amazing. Um, here's all I would ask of you. Most of them are starting out. A lot of them are, you know, really struggling. That's why they need you. Can, I don't want to take a percentage, because if you know how the world works, if you get on someone's stage, you give them a percentage. She said, I just want you to give them the best deal that you can give them to help them, Okay. So I did 60 minutes, and by the way, this was at a ridiculous hour because she's on the East Coast. So for me, it was like a six in the morning or something, right? I did an hour of really in-depth content, okay? And from that, I got probably, every single day I'm getting another client from that webinar, and it was not a sales pitch. How many of you have information that your audience needs that you could do in a webinar and all you have to do is find that person on LinkedIn that's willing to let you share with their audience, right? And how you get those clients is by just booking appointments. That's how you monetize. So let's open up for questions and see what you guys want to ask. Remember, age and weight are off limits, but anything else? <laughs> So it, it seems to me, Rhonda, in, in some of what you said there, that there's two things to consider in LinkedIn is, you know, there's on the one side, how do we show up? What do we look like when somebody goes to our profile? What does it look like? Can they tell what we do? Can, do we stand out from somebody else? Yep. But then the other side is using LinkedIn to be able to find people ourselves being able to find people that we want to reach out to and connect and possibly do business with or partner with right exactly and here's another thing that i didn't mention but this is really you know if you want to go where's the money it's in your own backyard i mean i want you to think about something we all have connections on linkedin right we all have connections but the truth is how many times have you actually spoken spoken i'm not talking about messaging this is actually you know this is called a phone it's a new app you actually use it to talk to people right <laughs> how many of you have actually picked up the phone 
and spoken to these people in a non-sales zone way to say, hey, Patty, we've been connected on LinkedIn for a long time, but you know what? We've never actually had a conversation. Would love to jump on a call and learn more about you, um, share a little bit about me, and see if there's a way that we might be able to support one another. You can actually just, and this is the perfect, perfect time to do that, to go out and reconnect, okay, with those people because they're like your first cousins. And guess what? They'll only show up at your wedding or your funeral. So why not use the time to go reach out and connect with them? I think there's something in the chat box here. Is that right? Um, no, just, just some hi. Just hellos. a hi. Okay, yeah. hi back. Um, so does anybody have any questions? I see Susie. Unmute yourself, Susie. She needs to unmute. Can you unmute her, Patty? Okay. There you go. Can you now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is funny because I was, I'm just going to start using LinkedIn to promote my business. I've had my profile for a long time, um, but I just recently updated it and I literally was coming on here to write my very first post. And then I saw that this uh, ask me anything thing was on right now. So I joined in. Uh -huh. So I'm going to write my very first post. So what, like, I have a picture of my team that I just took the other day. We're open during this time. We're on the front line. So I want to make a big deal about that and put something on LinkedIn. What's your business, Susie? We are uh, West County Tire and Automotive. We're an automotive dealership in the city of Anaheim. Okay, cool. So first thing we know is your geography specific area, right? Mm -hmm. So I live in Marietta. Chances are I'm probably not going to come to you. Right, right. Okay. Now, here's the rule with posting. And this is the thing that most people don't know, okay? Because you want to quote unquote build a tribe, okay? A tribe of people that know you, like you, follow you. We love the people that follow us. They're, they're the people that actually are the stalkers we love, right? It's like the mist of day stalking. So here's the rule, 80% of what you post should just be inspirational, motivational. 20% of what you post should be business related. So every single day, okay, and this literally could take you no more, no more than five to 10 minutes, okay? You need to like a post, comment on a post, share a post, and create a post. So let me give you an example, okay? Are you talking about on LinkedIn? Yeah, yeah. I so, you know, so LinkedIn, so it's I, okay to be casual? Well, let me show you how that works because yeah, absolutely. I actually, I shared a post that somebody else had posted. It was a post by Mark Cuban. Now I'm a Shark Tank fan, I love Shark Tank, and I really like Mark Cuban. So I put a comment up that said, I, I forget what exactly it said, it said something like, um, great advice from an amazing entrepreneur. Do you agree? And then I put three hashtags. Now keep in mind, this is not my post, okay? Somebody else posted it. I liked it. I commented on it and said, great post. Thanks for sharing. And then I clicked share, all right? This was three weeks ago. I am over 10,000 views on my post, okay? Now that and three bucks will get me a bad cup of coffee. But here's where it matters. I have 368 plus likes on that post, okay? I don't know how many comments, but up to 20 reshares. Now, why do I care about the reshares? Because somebody thought that was so cool. So let's say you and I are not connected, Carly, okay? Mm -hmm. What if somebody decided to reshare that? You should reshare <laughs> that. But guess what? The people that are in your tribe that are liking it and commenting on it, I now can see. So I could reach out to them and say, hey, Mary, thanks so much for liking my post on the, you know, with uh, Mark Cuban. Are you a Shark Tank fan too? Looks like we share some common connections. Would love to connect with you and learn more about you. Now, I probably would never have found this person, but they took the time to actually like a post that somebody in their network shared, right? Or I just go back to the 350 or whatever they were that were in my tribe, my network, and I reach out to them. And I say, hey, thanks for liking my post. 
Are you a Shark Tank fan? Are you a Mark Cuban fan? So posting, when you're just posting about stuff that's motivational, people love that. Oh my gosh, if you want to build a tribe, yeah, put some stuff up there that's relevant, but always read it from the standpoint of, if you were reading that, would you be interested? Is it interesting enough to you? Makes sense. Now, Rhonda, do you do you go on Instagram and Facebook as well, or do you primarily just use? Um, I, I don't even I don't even have an Instagram account. Okay, it's so pathetic that I don't <clears> even have one. I barely know how to follow my two adult daughters. Okay. However, I do go on Facebook, and the reason I'm on Facebook is that 90% of the people on LinkedIn are on Facebook. So, in fact, um, you might notice that yesterday's post or the day before, Michelle Burquist, our wonderful, amazing CWI leader, posted a very, very cool little picture on Facebook. And I reposted it on LinkedIn and said, thank you to Michelle Burquist for posting this. And I got a lot of engagement. So you can absolutely go from LinkedIn. And what I like to do is give credit. And then here's a little secret, ladies, that you may not know. If you put the at sign, okay, you know that little A with the circle, right? And you tag the person, they're gonna know, they're gonna actually go look at your profile and look at your post. Now you only wanna tag somebody if you have a relationship with them, okay? It's not like you wanna tag somebody that you don't have a relationship with. So I could easily, excuse me, I could easily tag Michelle, but I wouldn't tag somebody that I didn't know because all they're gonna do is just get annoyed at me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you use like Hootsuite or any of those um, programs so you could do multiple posts? I don't. Posts I, don't. I literally spend five minutes a day and do it myself. Okay. I probably could, you know, and part of the reason is that. But you want me, to be more authentic in real time, right? I just want to be really authentic and yeah. I want, and, and for me, if it has value for me, then I think it might have value for others. And sometimes I hit it out of the park and I don't even know why. Like I couldn't tell you why that post with Mark Cuban got such high numbers, okay? I honestly can't tell you. And then I have some other ones that I thought, oh my God, this is great, this is good. And my numbers are really low. So um, I'm always testing it. But again, you have to be consistent. Every single day you wanna post and every single day you wanna like. And by the way, like your own post. <laughs> Most people forget to like their own post. It's not egotistical, it's just smart marketing. So we do have a question in the chat from Angela, and she said, how much do you use Sales Navigator versus LinkedIn Standard, and what are the best features? So now we're talking prospecting. Right? I use LinkedIn Sales Navigator every single day. It's $79 a month. If you pay for it annually, it's 20% less. Um, the reason that I use it is, number one, it allows me to do very advanced searching. It can actually help me save my searches. It shows me who's looked at my profile. And you can get that with premium, but I think it's even more important to know who's looked at, your, you, know, who's looked at you. I get so much business from seeing somebody that looked at my profile but didn't connect with me. So Patty, if you and I were not connected and you looked at my profile, I would see when you looked at me, okay, I would actually know whether it was five minutes ago or two days ago, because it tells me. And, I, and if you're somebody that I think we should connect because we share common connections or whatever it happens to be, there's something in common with us, I would send you a message, a connection request that might say, Patty, noticed you viewed my profile. Curious, what was it that caught your interest? Let, I'd love to connect. Let me know if there's anything that I can do to be a resource for you. Best regards. Mm -hmm. The chances of getting that connection request accepted are extremely high because you probably looked at me and then you got busy. So you didn't bother sending the connection request. Mm -hmm. But I know you looked. So Sales Navigator, here's the rule of thumb, okay? If you're going to make more, if you can make more than $100 from a client in a month, it pays for itself because it costs 79 bucks a month. Mm -hmm. How, so, all right, where exactly is that feature if I'm looking at it right now to see where you, they're, they're searching for you? I didn't even know that was available. You have to purchase it and there's a 30 day free trial. So it's an upgrade. Oh, so no, I have, I have sales navigator. I'm sorry. Where, where do you see that they've been looking at your profile? Oh, okay. 
So um, I, can I share a screen with this? Yep, you sure can. Okay, cool. I'll show you my, I'll share my screen. Okay, I do this all day long. So much fun. Okay. I haven't been on LinkedIn in so long. I need to just get in there and get dirty with it. Um, okay, so I don't have <clears throat> LinkedIn up on here. Uh, hang on just one second, and I'm just going to bring it up right here. Let me go back to the Zoom. Okay, here we go. All right, now this should work. So now I can share. Where the heck? Here it is. Okay, share. Okay, can you guys see my screen? Yes, yeah. can. So if I go over to here, who's viewed my profile, okay? I'm going to see that I had 2,403 views in the last 90 days. It, this number goes up and down. So look who looked at me, Michelle. I love Michelle. So Michelle looked at me one hour ago, okay? This person, um, and we can also see, now here's a second. I want you to notice that what you want to look at is, this person is a second to me. She's a first. She's a first, right? So, okay, virtual dance services. Okay, not really what I'm interested in, okay? So Mandy's, Mandy's on the call here. <laughs> so so Mandy, Mandy, you're we're, in the call. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're outing you. <laughs> Go for it. Okay, cool. So I probably wouldn't have looked at you just because virtual dance services isn't something that's on my radar. Does that make sense? Because I don't even know what it is. It looks like it's super fun. So awesome for you, Mandy, because look, you've got, you've got mixing up the mood, music, and mingling your events. And then you have now offering virtual dance services, mobile DJ. That's really awesome. The only thing that I don't know, and, and again, you look like you're really young and I'm not. <laughs> I don't know what virtual dance services are, okay? So what you might want to do in your headline is tell me what it is. Yeah, I literally just added that while we were talking because I'm on my computer doing this <laughs> while we're, and I was oh, on another you're a call. rock star, CWI is such <laughs> rock stars, I love it. <laughs> I was on another call earlier that they said that we should, you know, update our profiles on all of our social medias to include that, but you make a very valid point, and yes, I should update that thing on top. So, so, yes, so I don't you. know what it is, and also, here's the thing, okay, you're a really attractive lady, get a professional I'll headshot, I'll show Those you. Those are. <laughs> well, they are. I get that. I just had them June, done in June by Stephanie Blue, who's also I a member. I love Stephanie. She's absolutely off the charts amazing, but I just want you to see. You see how clean that looks? Yeah, my head, I did notice my headliner one looks a little, the header one looks a little blurry. I do need to fix that. So, uh, and again, um, is this, am I in the right place here? Uh, is that you or no? Mandy Rodriguez is me. That's not you. Okay, I don't know who that person is. Let's just go. <laughs> I just sent you a connection message. That's probably why I popped up on yours. Oh, okay. That's okay. So here, here it is. So here you go. Okay, so one of the things, Mandy, that you want to do is you want to send me a personal message saying, Hey Rhonda, was on the um ask anything or whatever, but put a personal message. Okay. Gotcha. That's so so I'll so I would accept, okay. And I'll jump over here in connections, but I'll show you just real quick because this is kind of fun. So here you are, Mandy, right? So I look at your profile and let's just, so, so remember I talked about um, privacy settings? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're sending people to your competitors. Do you see that? People I, are so viewed. You do not want that. So I, yeah, I need to figure out how to do that again because I was, yeah. So, so when we look over here, Here's your um, here's your your about section, right? Mm -hmm. Says what you do, but here's what I was talking about. What I want to know is who do you serve, what do you do, so that I want to keep reading. Okay, Does that makes sense. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So um, and then on the posting, I'll just show you because this is really important. So if we go to post. Views of, I just, I'll go over here, views of your article, we click over to posts, okay? So I shared this particular post, this was what I did this morning, but, um, and here, the, uh, earlier today, I was actually on a Facebook Live, so it got put there, but I just want to give you an example of, oh, here it is. Thank you, Michelle Burquist, for this motivational, inspirational quote, okay? 
So I just gave her credit, but I got 38 likes and 881 views. So I start looking at the people that liked it. Okay, these are all first level connections to me, all right? So now I could look at these and I go, okay, some of these people I know, some of these people like Derek. Derek is somebody who's in Australia, who does what I do, who's putting together an amazing online course for LinkedIn, which I'm gonna sell as an affiliate and add my own stuff to. Because I saw the three years that it's taken him to do it. I don't wanna do the three years to do it, but I think what he has is amazing. He's also younger than I am, cuter than I am, and has a better accent. So I'm going to actually market him, right? And I'm going to add my stuff to it. And he doesn't market in the U.S. He markets it in Australia. So I know that he looked at me. But let's just say, for example, if I look here, um, so if I look at Jeff, okay, Jeff's the client that just hired me. Now, he's following me, but, but I haven't done anything with Jeff yet. But let's just look at Jeff for a moment. So let's say that I didn't, you know, Jeff hadn't hired me and Jeff was just somebody who's a first level connection. I look at Jeff and I go, I know, I know how amazing Jeff is because one of my clients worked with him. And now she charges $1,250 an hour for consulting and gets it. And it's a result of the coaching that he helped her to get rid of her blocks, okay? So I look at Jeff and you look at this and would you actually think based on the profile here, because remember I haven't started it, that this is somebody that could literally get you to start creating an income that you never dreamed of as a coach? No, look at this. This doesn't tell you anything. It doesn't tell you a darn thing. And yet I personally know Jeff. He's a superstar beyond superstars, but I didn't know him well until my friend Dorothy told me I said, Dorothy, how are you charging $1,250 an hour and getting it? How is your business exploding? She said, oh, I worked with Jeff Baldwin. I can't even pronounce his last name. Baldwin. I'm like, I know Jeff. He actually asked me to be on his podcast. She goes, you need to talk to him. And so I'm actually considering working with Jeff, but he hired me because he's seen what I've done for other people. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can I? Okay, so real quick, sorry. I know you kind of talked about it earlier, but now you got me all like, not, what's the word? I don't know. Can you oh, <laughs> explain? Like to, I took a trip to Paris. No, no, no. <laughs> it's okay. And not just for me, but I'm, I'm hoping other people on the call also are wondering too. So what were you saying about the privacy settings? I'm showing my competitors. How do I fix that? <laughs> I'm going to show you guys. Okay. okay? <laughs> Thank you. All right. So, cause you're my CWI family. So you go under the little picture, see where it says me, right? See that? Then you go down to settings and privacy, okay? Then you go to privacy and you scroll down and see it says viewers of this profile also viewed. The default setting is going to be yes. Change it to no. When you change it to no, refresh your browser and all of a sudden it's gonna go away. How cool is that? <laughs> Very cool. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, I'm going to stop the share. Worth the um, price of admission. Well, before you be, before you oh, leave Sales back. Navigator, I was just going to um, say. Uh, I like the share. When when you're in Sales Navigator, there's other things that you see about about that person as well, right? You open. Yeah. It's one thing I'll about looking you. at their profile, but then when you look at it in Sales Navigator. Yeah. So here, I'll show you. So here's Sales Navigator. Okay. All right, who wants a lead? Any of you guys want a lead? What is, what, yes. excuse me, what is sales navigator? Yes, I'm gonna show you, who wants a lead, a real lead? All of the above. I do. Okay, so who is it? I don't know who's talking, I can't Carly, tell. Carly wants a real estate Carly agent wants a lead. Talk. Lots of escrows. You want escrows, okay, cool. So Carly, you're, so, so what do you do, Carly? I'm an escrow professional. You're an escrow professional, so you need to connect with real estate people, right? Yes, please. Got it. And you're in San Diego, right? Yes, but we can do all of California technically. Okay, cool. So let's let's do this. So this is Sales Navigator, okay? Keep, and so what we're looking for are real estate brokers, right? Real estate agents? Yes. Okay, cool. Okay, so this is real time, guys. This is fun. I like doing this. Wait, is this something else you pay for as an extension of your LinkedIn? Yes, this is $79 a month, okay? And you have to really know how to use it. This is the quick and dirty. This is literally what I get paid for to teach clients. And it's my favorite thing to do because when I do it, 
and they take you through the whole process, which is so, so fun. People get leads in real time. A real estate agent, okay. Where, where's you in San Diego? Yes. Okay, so we'll do San Diego. Okay, here's your numbers. This is a lot. Okay, so now, what the heck? Where did that go? Okay, hang on. Uh, title is real estate agent. It didn't take, I don't know why. Okay, real estate agent. Okay. Okay, so we have 1,549 results. Um, do you, you probably want somebody with a little bit of experience. Would that be true? Yes. Okay, so what? One to two, three to five, give me a number. Um, let's do three to five, because I actually specialize in education with newer Great. agents as well. So. 163, okay. Oh. So now, there's a lot of other things that you could do, right? We could pick other keywords. We want to actually say years in current positions. So maybe what we'll do is we go, so they've been in the current company, so now we have 106, right? Um, let's see, what's a key word that might, something that you could relate to that per person with, right? So here, this is gonna be, um, so I'm gonna do second degree. Now again, we're looking through my profile, so I'm gonna just click search and I'm gonna show you what happens. So there are 38 people that are second degree. Let me explain that second degree means that Carly, if you and I, for example, are first level connections, okay? These are people that we share in common. They're your connections, but they know both of us. It's like a second cousin. So the first thing that I wanna look at is who are the people that have posted in the last 30 days? Why do I care about that? Because they're actually alive and well. They're not in long-term parking, they're active, okay? Oh, so then gosh. I look and I see, oh, okay, here's, Courtney, she's at Caldwell Bank. I know, I know who she is. I know her. Cool. Okay, so let's look at Courtney just for giggles. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to go here. We're going to look at her on LinkedIn. Okay. You know her. Have you connected with her? Have you talked to her? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see her. Does she give you business? Not yet. Okay. Yeah, she's. So this so, is key to see who's actually using LinkedIn as well because you reach right. out to a lot of people, but if they're not on here, it doesn't do me any good. <laughs> So here's the thing that's interesting, okay? You look at her at about section, it says, um, you know, as a local resource, feel free to message me. Okay, she doesn't really tell you. the kind, I, If I'm gonna choose a real estate agent and there are so many to choose from, she does not tell me why I should choose her. Does that make sense? How, so you could look at this and go, but guess what? This is so cool. She doesn't know how to use her privacy settings. We love that because look at all the other people you could find here. They're actually giving you a list of people, right? Look at all these people that you could actually really start connecting with. Then you look and you go, okay, so she's got 1,645 followers, right? Here's her experience, here's her education. So when I look at her education, I know how old she is because she graduated high school in 2008, okay? You never put your high school on there, by the way, all right? Never. Nobody cares unless you went to some exclusive high school that you want to connect with people that went to that high school. Um, and you don't put the years here either, okay? And the reason you don't do that is because you're either too old or too young, and people are going to make a decision right off the bat. So don't put the years there. That's why I pay a plastic surgeon so much money, so you guys will not know how, much, how old I am. That was a joke. Okay. Um, so... What you could do, all right, assuming that <coughs> you were, you know, I'm you, Carly, she's got 71 mutual connections. Send her a message, right? Or if you already know her and you're connected, then you could actually take a bigger strategy and actually, you know, send her a message. So we'll go back to Sales Navigator just for a second, okay? And we'll look. And again, you saw what the search we did was. So we could save it, I could tag it. I mean, there's, so many things that we could do with this, but you could see, look, you'll never run out of leads here, right? This is pretty cool. All you need next is you need, and notice my straight, I've got over 99 saved searches. What you really need is the strategy, okay? That I can't do in 10 minutes, but the strategy is really what will get you, and this is for all of you ladies, what you all want, I believe, is you just want an appointment. Isn't that true? If you could get on the phone with your ideal client 
and you knew the questions to ask them, you just shut up at the end until they say my favorite question, how do I work with you? All you do is just shut up and ask, wait for them to ask that question. I'm gonna show you something, Carly, just because I want you to see this. So here's a client of mine, okay, who's a real estate agent, okay? Tia, well, she changed her background like from two days ago. This is so interesting. So, she, oh, this is so funny. She changed it. I'm like totally shocked because what it used to say was, um, and I have the slide, Houston real estate agent, Houston buyer's agent, Houston seller's agent. And she had a CEO that was moving to Houston that reached out to her and said, uh, can you help me buy a house in Houston? Hmm. So I don't know why she changed it, um, which is kind of interesting, but the rest of it is all here with what I did for her. But I'm, I'm really surprised. I think what she did, she changed companies. She went to created her own company, so everything changed. Mm -hmm. So she changed this, and she here's what she didn't know, okay? And I'm gonna show you, because I'm gonna call her, because she's a, she's a doll and she gives me referrals. Notice what her headline says. This is a headline, okay? It says, real estate agent at McBride Home Group. Look at her first job, okay? Real estate agent at the McBride Home Group, okay? She's never going to be found by people that don't know this unless they're looking for her by name. Versus, I'll show you just an example with Chad. So Chad's another client of mine, okay? Broker, owner, Exit Lakes Realty, guaranteed selling program, we are hiring. Do you think that that's a little bit better? If you're a real estate agent in this area and you wanna work with one of the top real estate companies in the country, you think you'll find him? You bet you'll find him. Attention real estate agents. So again, this is very clear. Here's his contact information. So what I want you to understand is that for you, Callie, it's not gonna be very hard for you to find these real estate agents, okay? What you, and let's, let's look at your profile really quick. Can I do that? Here you are. Here's Carly. Okay. So Carly, escrow office, if they don't know you, they will not find you. What makes you different, Carly, than every other escrow officer out there in San Diego? You need to unmute. Yeah. Um, well, yeah that's the question of the day for all of us, right? Um, education and experience and okay, customer so service. Would you, would you um, like a suggestion? Sure. How long have you been doing it? 20 plus years. 20? You know, what, you started two? Okay. You did 18. <laughs> yeah, seriously. 96. Okay, so here's what I would do. And again, this is for all of you. It's not just for Carly, okay? Go to the real estate agents. You probably have a handful of people that send you business all the time, right? Mm -hmm. do, you, do you? Yeah. Go ask them why they do business with you. Find out what they think. Say, you know what? I so appreciate you. I really value you. Can you tell me why you choose me over any other escrow comp any other escrow agent? Okay. Because if you don't know, you need to ask. And that's for all of you. All right. Does that make sense? That's a good question. Yeah. Well, and you know it lets what? them it lets them talk too, which is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and here's the thing, you know, it's it's not about ego. What you really want to say is. I'm not asking you so that you can make me feel good about me. I'm asking you so you can tell me how I can explain what I do to other people and why they should choose me. Well, and it's getting to know them better too and what their needs are and what yeah. makes them happy. Yeah, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Because here, when you just look just for, and, and I'm not picking on you, is that okay? No, I, I appreciate it, thank you. So here, you're written in third person. You're super friendly. You don't talk in third person, you're talking per first person, right? But when I'm looking as a real estate agent for an escrow officer, right, for escrow services, I don't really care that you, be ca that you started out as a receptionist. What I wanna know <laughs> is that you work with real estate agents to make them look like superstars because you provide escrow services above and beyond anybody else. That's why 
right? Yep. They don't care about that. They don't care until they know you. Then they want to know your backstory, right? You know what? Nobody cares about my really fun story that I married my husband twice. I have a husband who has been married, you know, all this. Nobody cares. You know what they care about? Then I'll show you how to make an extra $10,000 to $100,000 a year effortlessly and automatically using LinkedIn because I have a three-step system. Then they might want to know about my fun story. Up till then, they don't care. It's like, how can I help them make money? So why should a real estate agent care about you? They don't really care that you're a receptionist. They want to know why you make them look good. You make their transactions happen. An escrow person can make or break a transaction, and you are their paycheck. So, Rhonda, while we're, we're talking about profiles, um, Susie had posed a question in the chat about um, she has two businesses on her profile. And do you recommend people blend them into one, or do they have two separate ones or, or what? Let's, uh, no, you never want two separate ones. Um, you don't want two separate ones. So here's Susie, cool picture. Susie, get rid of this. Okay. <laughs> What's your other business? Get rid of that. Get rid of people also viewed. <laughs> uh, does mine have that? Yeah, you do too. Um, so Susie, are your two businesses that you're in the floral business and the tire business? Uh, so you need to unmute. Yes, hi. Okay, and I, is this yours or you do it with your husband? Yes, well the floral business is mine and then my husband and I own the Goodyear Automotive. So, okay, again, I'm a really out of the box thinker, so just kind of laugh and bear with me here. <laughs> um, I would put that there, which is fine, okay? And I would also put the description that this is a family-owned business on your um, tire business. Okay. But here's what I would do to grow your floral business. Every time you get a new client in that is, you know, somewhat substantial, I'd send them flowers. And I would actually say, um, you know, this is, an, you know, something, this something to the effect that, you know what, um, as, as an owner of this business, in addition to the tire business, we just want to know how much you're appreciated. You know what, you're going to grow your flower business by sending a thank you to all of the people that you've done business with. It's just it's a high profit margin on tires. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even know you had these businesses, Susie. See? <laughs> I you thought you were a CWI girl. <laughs> That's good we to know. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah I, so so you can actually marry the two and and really the way that you do it is here and that's you know that's part of what my gift is 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 getting your story and putting it out there in a way that it actually works and because you're in a husband and wife business and then you also have the flower business you can actually meld that to say you know because we believe that client appreciation is such a huge part of our business that we often, um, you know, give a discount on flowers to all of our clients. So you want to really grow your business, give a discount to all your tire people on flowers because they probably don't even know you exist. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea. Um, Angela asked in the chat uh, about keeping the years in your jobs that when you're, when you're adding, fine. but you, you do have to do that, don't you? you? Do that. However, However, okay, if you worked at McDonald's or you did stuff that isn't related, and if you figure out the years, because if I did mine all the way back, okay, you guys would really know how close I am to Medicare, and I do not want you to know that, so I don't go that far back, right? Right. And I, and I say it jokingly, but I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not really joking, because the reality is that I don't want people to know how old I am, right? It's just... People make decisions. I mean, oh my God, my kid said the other day that there was this lady who was 50 and she was so old. And I'm like, oh my God, seriously, you think a 50 year old is old? Oh my God, I must be like in the grave already. So, you know, remember you're dealing with millennials, you're dealing with all kinds of people. They don't need to know how old you are. Well, it's interesting that, yeah, it's interesting the kinds of things that, that people judge you on or, yeah. or um, exclude you on and so forth. So, um, with that in mind, you know, like making sure that, that the, 
what you have on there is is not too much going too far back and not having right. the ages of your high school and all that kind of stuff. Um, what are terms that you would use that make a profile rank higher? Like how, how well, you have to know the keywords. So yeah. why do I show up in so many searches? Why do my clients show up in so many searches? Because right. my keywords are LinkedIn profile makeover, done for you, LinkedIn, right? I mean, I know the keywords. And when I work with clients, I have specific tools I use to research the keywords so that they do get found. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you think about it, you know, and you want to do it yourself, well, if you're searching for something on Google, I'll give you an example. Okay. Um, last year I had cataract surgery. So the first two doctors I went to, I was like, so over underwhelmed, like literally underwhelmed. Okay. And when I found out from the second one, when I went to book the surgery, they said, oh no, this doctor is, that you saw is not the one doing the surgery, it's Dr. So-and-so. And I looked at it and I went, she has two Google reviews. And the young girl, the young girl who book, was booking it said, oh, Dr. So-and-so had his mother do her surgery. And I said, and? So I literally said, okay, I'm not going here. Anybody that's done 200 surgeries with two Google reviews is not getting my eyes, right, with a, with a scalpel. And so what I did is I went on Facebook and I said, need recommendations for an ophthalmologist for cataract surgery. Don't care if it's Orange County, Riverside, or San Diego. At that point, I was going to drive, right? Eight people gave me one name, Dr. Davies. I go to Dr. Davies, and Dr. Davies has 553 five-star Google reviews, okay? Mm -hmm. Again, I, he doesn't have a presence on LinkedIn, right? Doesn't need it. He's got 553 Google reviews, but here's the deal. I checked him out, right? I mean, if I'm going to shell out that kind of money and, you know, have somebody cut, me, cut my eyes. So... I share this with you because you're going to get checked out mm -hmm. in every so way, shape, or form. So kind of doing, doing some Google searches is one of the best yeah. ways for you to figure out what those keywords exactly. are. Exactly. And the other thing that it will do is it'll show you who your competitors are, mm -hmm. right? So if I wanted to, just for giggles, okay, just for giggles. I'm going to type in that I'm looking for an escrow officer in San Diego County, right? Because you want to be found, Carly, don't you? Yes, she does. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay. yeah, you so, do you call yourself an escrow officer? Is that what you, you call yourself? Well, I'm technically, I moved to business development, so I need to update that somehow. But I'm certified escrow officer still, which makes me unique. You asked if most escrow sales okay. reps never did escrow, and I... Have, so how many years experience so, okay so how much you have 20 years of experience you said so we're gonna put more than 10 years right mm -hmm. yes and you're in San Diego eh, just for giggles I'm gonna show you who your competitors are okay so there's 137 people and I'm guessing that you're not gonna come up <clears throat> so here you go all right notice Change jobs posted. So these are the people that you really want to pay attention to because they're your biggest competitors. They're the ones that are posting. Okay. What you want to do is show up in the very top because if I'm a real estate agent and I'm looking, I want to find you. You're not showing up. You should be. You're better than all of them. Make sense? Yes. And my guess is that their, their LinkedIn profiles kind of are lackluster. Okay. 22 years experience for Megan. Do you know her? No. Well, let's look at her. Just for giggles. Okay. So she's got, she gives you her phone number. Good job. She also gave you all her competitors. Um, okay. With 22 years of professional experience, I'm excited and enthusiastic about what I do. We don't care. What are the results that you get, right? Whether it be blah, blah, blah. Okay, now she's talking about Stuart Title. So she's been with them for a short time. Before that, she was with, you can see her, um, you know, what the thing is. So you look at her and then you go, okay, I'm way better than her. I want to be the same thing. So now, 2019, okay, he's the sales manager, right? 
Now I look at this and I go, okay, let's look at what he looks like just for giggles, right? I know him. Yeah, guess what? His whole team needs help. Your whole team probably looks the same way too. So figure out what your competitors are doing and doing it and do it better. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Great. And, and I don't mean to be, you know, snippy or slight. I mean, you know, I just want to put a little bit, I just want you to get the message, really, that you can stand out from your competitors and you can do this yourself. Like, does it take work? Yes. Like, would I ever cut my own hair? Not if I wanted to go out in public. But, you know, you can do it. Well, we might all be doing that. You know, if well, I know. Right. it's very scary. <laughs> I colored my own hair. That was pretty scary. Trust me. And I think it goes down to two, like figuring out who you want to do business with, you know, yeah. like, do you want to do business with people that are at this professional level that are taking the time to be on this platform and care about their presence? And then maybe they'll appreciate that you're doing the same thing. So it kind of gives you another way to connect as well, would you say? Yeah. So I'm going to give you a great tip, Carly. Okay. Cause you jumped in oh. here and, and go to realtor.com. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because on Realtor.com, you can actually search and find the Realtors that have X number of years of experience and all this other stuff, and then extract that list and go connect with those people on LinkedIn. But don't do it until you fix your profile. Yeah. Okay. I, I, have to get in there. I have to get in there and get used to using LinkedIn first and kind of like get comfortable with it. And then definitely this is on my list of things to polish up. Thank you, Rhonda. You're welcome. Any other questions? Yeah, any other questions in our last couple of minutes here? I have a question. It's Mandy here. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mandy. So I've been over here updating everything based on what you told me. <laughs> like a <laughs> mad a woman. Good student. I love a good student. <laughs> I'm awesome. working on redesigning my cover photo. But my question is, so I was just kind of looking because um, I'm in North County, San Diego, but I kind of go everywhere. I go, you know, all of San Diego. I've even gone to Fullerton. So I was doing a little like what you were doing with Carly, like searching by like San Diego DJ or, mm -hmm. the, okay. So my, my question is, is the point is I think most brides or clients look up San Diego DJ. They're not going to look up North County San Diego DJ, but maybe they are. So do you have any tips on like, should I put all the different areas that I'm in, in yes. somewhere? But like, where does that go? Does it go in your about or does it go in your headline? Everywhere. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It goes everywhere. Yeah, it, it does. It really does go everywhere. It, you know, that's the whole thing. And and actually, I would go broad, okay, because they'll first find you for San Diego, and then they'll look for North County. Yeah, because I did do a search, like I changed it up, and then I did the search North County San Diego DJ, and I was in the top five. So I'm like, okay, well that's progress. <laughs> yeah, no, that's awesome. <laughs> but kudos to you, great job. <laughs> thanks, but I don't know if people are going to search for that. So okay, thank well, you for yeah. Here, Here's the thing. It's more than just that. Okay. Your keywords are one part. It's got to be the whole thing. Where are your recommendations? Where are the people that talk about what it's like to work with you? Yeah. There's all that third party validation. If you don't have that, then you're missing a big piece of the puzzle. Yeah. I have a few um, recommendations. Most of my reviews are on Facebook, but I'm trying to get, I've been working the last couple of weeks to ask people to also put it on LinkedIn for me. So yeah. Yeah. Um, There's a whole system and a way to do that, but yeah. Good job. Thank you. I think we're done. I think we're at yeah. one because I have another call at one. So. Yeah. Thank you so much, Rhonda, for taking the time. Thanks to everybody who's been on, on this call with yeah. us and, and on this session. I think everybody picked up uh, way more than, than they probably bargained for even coming on here. So this has been great, Rhonda, and I, I really appreciate you taking the time to be with us. In the meantime, oh, everybody get out there, get busy on your profiles. Rhonda, really quick, what's the best way for people to reach you? Uh, best way for people to reach me is just uh, connect with me on LinkedIn first. If you I was going to say, that was a trick question. <laughs> and, and the second thing is um, you can actually send me an email at linkedindiva at gmail.com. That's easy. And, um, and then the, the, what I've been doing through, you know, this whole thing is um, if you're interested, we spend a half an hour on a recorded Zoom and we go through for 97 bucks and I show you everything that you need to do. You can ask questions. Um, I'll show you examples of other people. Um, and you can do it yourself. And then if you want to, you can hire me to do it for you. But, you know, a lot of people get tremendous value just from the recorded, you know, half an hour that we do. 
because you get to ask a lot of questions. And we're looking through my screen, so I can show you all the competitors, and they're not even going to know that you can, you're looking at them, but I'll also teach you how to look at them where they can't see that you're looking at them, you're incognito, which is way cool to go spy on your competitors. Um, <laughs> What's not cool is that if you're spying on them now and they know. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but that's just a setting that you need to change. So that's the, you know, that's basically what you can do if you're interested. Just let me know. Um, and you know, if that's something you want to take advantage of, again, all you have to do is just go to PayPal.me forward slash Rhonda Elsher. It's ninety-seven bucks. I'll send you a link. Um, but again, you know, just connect with me. You know, ask me questions. Tell me how I can refer you. I have almost twenty-five thousand connections. Um, I'd be happy to make the connection, make the introduction. We're all in the same community. It's not about selling to you. It's about serving you. Aww, thank that. you so much, Rhonda. And thanks again to everybody. Be safe and we'll see you on the next one. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thanks for joining us.